Hi guys, so today I'm just going to the doctors to get the implant and I'm going to ask if I can show you the procedure if the doctor will allow it so hopefully we will get some footage and I can show you guys what the process is and all that jazz. I have had it previously and honestly it doesn't it's so simple it's just easy you're covered and protected for three years so I thought this time when I went I would ask if I could film it for you guys. Okay, so then it's the little injection to numb it. Yeah. So it, it might sting a little bit and then it'll go numb. Okay. So scratch now. You okay? Yeah. Okay, so that's that. Okay. okay, so you'll just feel me pushing a little bit on your arm now, okay? Well, it definitely will be numb. Yeah, I'll, I'll check it for you. Stab me first. So, <laughs> yeah. You okay with that? Yeah. Okay, it's in and I would like you just to feel it with the other hand. Can you feel it under the skin yeah. there? Yeah, yeah, so it's definitely in. And um, what I'm going to do now is just to put the steri strips on and the dressing on. Yeah. So I'd like you to straighten your arm down. Yeah, okay. I will go through the leaflet and everything else with you guys when I get home because I need to get home and feed Pixie, pick Sunny up from nursery and just do my daily duties. So see you later guys. Mwah. You monkey. Hello guys, welcome to Mummy's video. There is Mr. Andrews. <laughs> Mr. Andrews. Mr. Andrews. Baby. Hey. Take you back later. Bye. These are like my favorite ever. So today we're talking about the implant. I got it done on Monday, and it's now Thursday. I had it done on the twenty-first of March. We're going to check out the site where it was put in just after I've gone through a little bit of the leaflet that you receive with the implant. 
just giving some little bits of information for you guys so you can so you can then go away and look at it yourself if you wanted to. So let's read through some of this shit. It's like it's just um oh my god I was a ladder oh. right so basically here these are just the diagrams and stuff. I have had the implant before, this is the second time I am having it put in. It covers you for a total of three years when you've got it in and as soon as you remove it you are back to producing your eggs and you're fertile immediately. There's no like waiting so long for something to get out of your system. It's just instant, it's there, you're ready to go. Ready to make babies. Having this in it really doesn't hurt. You do feel a little bit of a stinging just whilst the numbing things going, the numbing liquid is going into your arm when she puts the needle in. That was a little bit like stingy, but I'm quite good with pain. I've got quite a high pain threshold and I'm not scared of needles or anything like that. So for someone that is scared of needles, it's probably not the right thing for you because I'm not sure if they can like completely just knock you out cold to do this procedure so you'd have to ask your doctor. Last time I had this in it was absolutely fine for about two and a bit years, maybe two years and two months or something like that and then in those last little stretches it sort of got itchy and uncomfortable and then I'd get a rash on my arm, it was really really weird. I did speak to the doctor about it and they couldn't quite understand so they said just come in we'll take it out and then as soon as they took that out that was gone. So I said to them this time round that if it even just lasts me the two years again it's long enough and I'm quite happy to do that and then we can sort of move on to something else after that. It affects everybody differently so obviously if you do end up getting it in and you decide what the hell is happening then you can quite simply just go back to your doctor and have it removed. They haven't got any problems doing that so if it's not working for you just let them know and get it out. Oh my god! Anyway. There's a massive list. These are all like little side effects and stuff. Like I say, I didn't get any last time. Um, she did say that it can be different every time. So if anybody wants like updated things about this, let me know because I can totally do that. How I'm getting on with it. I mean, it's obviously, it probably doesn't even matter because it's going to affect you differently if you had it in. It wouldn't affect you the same way. So an updated video on it probably isn't even any benefit to anybody. This video is just to show you the procedure and my experience really because obviously it's not anything that I tell you in here is going to be completely different for you guys. It works differently for everybody. It's called the Next Plan On. The Next Plan On. 68 milligram implant for subdermal use. I read that through the back. How freaking awesome is that? After, the, um, after your appointment is finished and all that jazz, you get a little card like this and it just has the date on it to tell you when you got it in, your name, um, which arm you've had it put in and also the date that you need to go back to take it removed. That's just a little card to keep in your wallet. Okay, so here it is. This is four days later. So it's pretty like red and it's got like purpley blotches on it. I've got a little water blister there. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, the little water blister is here. This is where it went in on that little dot there and then if I press on there, this, it's very swollen. I can feel the swelling there, but I can sort of feel it underneath there. I'll probably wait maybe another week to allow that to go down. If it doesn't start going down, then I will go back to the doctor's. Oh, hello. How are you all there, honey? <laughs> oh, my God. Right, let's zoom the hell out. We don't need to be this close. Come on, Mrs. Andrews, shut your shut out. I hope that you enjoyed this video and got a little look at the next plan in next plan. <laughs> the next plan on implant. And if you are thinking of having it, go ahead, do some research. Just remember it does not act the same for everybody, so it could affect you in a different way. Everybody is different. Thanks so much for watching guys. Till the next one. Bye! 
on my lips. I have NYX Butter Gloss. It is so creamy. It is the first one I have ever owned. And oh my god, I will be getting more. NYX Butter Gloss. You did match my t-shirt today, honey. A little bit of rouge never had anybody. This is what's on my nails. It's just a nude colour with some Swarovski crystals. I've put one has got the little micro beads between and one hasn't and I didn't know which one I preferred. So I did one of each. <laughs> Can you pull a funny face, funny face, funny face? Can you pull a funny face?